Hello everyone, this video is in continuation to our videos wherein uh, we are making videos for grade 12th. Uh, from this video on we are going to start with our next unit that in which we are going to talk about genetics and evolution. We have completed uh, our previous uh, unit of uh, reproduction fine uh, and uh, herein we are we have completed in reproductive health and uh, from this video on we are going to start with genetic evolution, genetics and and evolution and today in the in this video we'll talk about the first chapter that is principle of inheritance and variation now in this video we'll discuss about Mendel's work we'll discuss in detail uh, what all uh, were the reasons that he did not get recognition then why did he get recognition and what are the reasons for him to select pea plant so this is the main basis of uh, genetics so starting up with the video first of all about something about Mendel so the uh, so Mendel was born in July 1822 birth was in July 22 and he you know worked uh, on uh, his uh, uh, plant that is Pisum sativum for six years worked on Pisum sativum which is pea plant pea plant fine we'll also talk about the reasons why he selected pea plant death was in 1884 or you can say died in 1884 but during his lifespan his work was not recognized we'll talk about it that why it was not recognized and after 16 years of his death after 16 years of his death the work was recognized that too because three scientists they worked on you know they st studied Mendel's work again and started working on it again and then they came to a conclusion that he was very much correct so that's uh, when his work was recognized so what do we what do we need to know till now that his birth was uh, he, uh, he was born in 1822 six years he worked on the plant Pisum sativum or pea plant death was in 1884 and during his lifetime his work was not recognized it was recognized 16 years after his work when another three scientists that is Hugo de Veris, Corins and Trenchmark they worked on his work and then they came to a conclusion that it was very much correct and now obviously Mendel was given the name of father of genetics moving on to the next uh, part that wa what are the reasons that his work was not recognized that he did the work did not get recognition first was it was not published properly that means as it was you know in those times obviously the publication was not that you know uh, uh, vast that uh, publication was there but yes not to the whole world you know uh, like as in nowadays you publish a paper it's uh, you can find it in different journals you can find it everywhere but that at that time it was not so prominent so the work was not published properly then he was a mathematician and obviously it was a work of biology and he being a mathematician you know the biologist could not agree to whatever he said because it was like that how could a you know mathematician give a proper correct answer or how could he give these hypotheses so uh, his work was not accepted by the biologists so this was one of the reason factors not known now he gave the term that there are certain factors present in our body because the term gene was not given uh, uh, till then so he you know uh, he mentioned the term factor now factor was unknown to everyone factor was not known to anyone so the the work so they could not you know identify the what the, what is he trying to say uh, when he says factors so that's why because this variable was not known to people so this was also one of the reason that his work was not recognized next is reasons for recognition how did what happened that his work got recognition 
first is he used contrasting characters that means he studied two different contrasting characters that means the trait remains same like for example he studied height he was talking about the uh, one part the tallness and the dwarfness simultaneously so he, he studied the contrasting characters which was a very you know uh, important feature which gave him recognition that he could you know compare so he as he used contrasting factors that this was one of the factor for his work to be recognized large number of samples as he was studying pea plant which was available in large quantity so there was large amount of sample present he could study multiple generations throughout his lifetime because it has a very short lifespan the pea plant so he could study parent then their offspring then further their offspring so there were you know he could study many generations plus the sample was too very large for him to study so this was something you know uh, a positive thing for his recognition mathematician mathematical expressions he gave mathematical expressions for all his derivations all his uh, post uh, hypothesis whatever he thought of like for example when he, he when he received a generation he mathematically proved it by giving mono hybrid dihybrid crosses we'll be discussing about these crosses also in our further videos so by giving those mathematical expressions he could prove whatever he was trying to say he also gave three laws and all his three laws are you know supported by mathematical derivation so this was also one of the reason for him getting recognition no linkage fortunately whatever he studied whatever characters he studied whatever crosses he made he could not find lin linkage in it matlab there was not uh, a single case of linkage that was something fortunate of his studies that there was no linkage found uh, when he was studying pea plant so this gave him a positive thing so that the you know his, his work was recognized because there was no linkage uh, you know at that time because linkage was not studied even so there was not no linkage uh, found that uh, mixing up of traits or something so that's why these are the reasons which gave him recognition so next is a reason for selecting pea plant now i told you that he worked on pea plant for 6 years now pea plant first of all uh, pea is the common name uh, you must learn that it's known as pisum sativum because generally in the paper also they ask you pisum sativum so what are the reasons for selecting for what are the reasons that he selected pea plant first reason is that they have a short life span the life span of pea plant was quite very short so he could study multiple generations throughout his lifetime so that's why he selected pea plant so that he could you know study various generations during one course of time so this is one reason that he selected pea plant next is pea plant is a bisexual flower or you can say it gave rise to bisexual flowers so it can self pollinate plus he also cross pollinated them he also cross pollinated them to get to other results so self pollination to usme hota hi already but by removing artificially removing the pollens and shedding them on the stigma he could cross pollinate as well so he uh, start he could study self pollination and cross pollination both on the same plant so that's why this is one of the very important factors for selecting pea plant then next is that the seeds the the seeds they never showed dormancy i'm sorry seeds do not show dormancy we know what is dormancy dormancy is when the seeds they uh, come to a state where they don't germinate and as and when suitable environment is there they start germinate so obviously they do not show dormancy so this was also a positive trait which you know uh, made it possible for him to study the pea plant the no seeds you know uh, no uh, uh, the the characters which were studied were contrasting characters contrasting characters now this is something very important that he studied contrasting characters which was a very favorable condition for him to get recognized also and for him to study pea plant this was also a very important reason for him to study the pea plant because he could study contrasting traits now he studied seven contrasting traits seven traits were studied by him 
सो इफ वी राइट डाउन द ट्रेड्स तो ही स्टडीड द हाइट कलर ऑफ पॉड कलर ऑफ सीड कलर ऑफ फ्लावर शेप ऑफ सीड देन शेप ऑफ पॉड एंड लास्ट वॉज द अरेंजमेंट और यू नो पोजिशन ऑफ फ्लावर पोजिशन ऑफ फ्लावर सो वेन ही स्टडीड दीज इन दीज इन हाइट ही स्टडीड टॉल प्लांट एंड डो ऑफ प्लांट सो कॉन्ट्रास्टिंग ट्रेड्स वर देर सो आई एल राइट डोमिनेंट एंड रिसेसिव ट्रेड सो इन हाइट टॉलनेस वॉज द डोमिनेट ट्रेड एंड डोफनेस आई एल कलर ऑफ पॉड ग्रीन येलो सो ही कुड स्टडी कॉन्ट्रास्टिंग ट्रेड्स लाइक दिस कलर ऑफ सीड येलो एंड ग्रीन आई एल राइट ऑल ग्रीन फाइन देन कलर ऑफ फ्लावर Uh, he, uh, you know, the dominant uh, flowers were white in color, and the uh, sorry, purple in color, and the recessive ones were white. Purple and white. Uh, shape of seed round, wrinkled. Uh, shape of pod uh, inflated and deflated. Position of flower terminal and axil. so these were the seven contrasting traits which he studied which was a very very important positive feature for him to study pea plant and also for his recognition so these are this is all about mendel and his work in our next video we will start with all the important terms which are there in in this chapter because gen in genetics you have multiple terms which will come again and again so in our next video we'll talk about all the terms so as and when in our in our future videos when I use those terms you know that these are certain terms and these are there already so keep watching liking sharing subscribing thank you